This is a demonstration of a hands-on science education activity called Thermal Expansion of Water. As Earth's climate warms, sea levels rise. There are two major causes of sea level rise. The first is melting of ice on land, which flows as water into the seas. The second is thermal expansion of seawater. Melting ice on land is the more obvious cause, but thermal expansion of water contributes just as much to global sea level rise. This activity illustrates how water expands as it is heated. You will need a flask, a rubber stopper, a glass or plastic tube, a ruler, a thermometer, a lamp with a bright bulb, water, food coloring, a clock or stopwatch, and a sharpie marker. The rubber stopper should have two holes, one for the thermometer and one for the tube. Use an incandescent light bulb that gives off heat, not a fluorescent or LED bulb. To begin, fill the flask with cool tap water. Add a few drops of food coloring to make the water more visible. Next, slide the thermometer and the tube through the two holes in the rubber stopper. Place the stopper onto the flask. The flask should be full to the brim, so there is no air gap between the bottom of the stopper and the water. Some water should rise up into the tube, but only a short way above the stopper. You are now ready to begin the experiment. Mark the starting water level on the tube with the Sharpie marker. Read the temperature of the water from the thermometer. Write down the starting temperature. Place your lamp next to the flask and turn on the light so it shines on the water in the flask. The heat from the lamp will warm the water. The water will begin to expand. Repeat these procedures every two minutes for 10 minutes. Record the time, temperature, and height of the water. If you want, have your students graph the water height and temperature versus time. The key point to reinforce with your students is that as the water grew warmer, the water expanded and flowed up the tube. Here are a few more teaching tips about points to emphasize when using this activity. As noted earlier, there are two major causes of sea level rise. One, which we demonstrated here, is thermal expansion of seawater. The second is melting of ice on land, which flows into the sea as water. When floating ice melts, it does not directly cause any sea level rise. Scientists estimate that global sea level has risen by 9 centimeters, or about 3.5 inches, during the past 30 years. Thermal expansion of seawater and melting of grounded ice each contribute about equally to sea level rise. If you want to extend this activity, try using salty water to more closely simulate seawater and compare your results with fresh water. Another optional extension is to vary the starting temperature of the water to see whether that has an effect on the amount of expansion. This activity was brought to you by the UCAR Center for Science Education.